After finishing an eight-year first term in September, Notker Wolf has been re-elected to serve as the Abbot Primate of the Order of St. Benedict for another four years. The position is largely ceremonial because the Benedictines are a loose confederation, but there are different responsibilities involved. My real responsibility is to ensure union among the Benedictine order and all of the confederations, and to be the chief representative of the order, and to make sure the monasteries are collaborating. For this, I go to all of the national reunions of abbots or superiors just to be there and have discussions with them. They have also asked me to come because they said, you have the most experience on how it is done in other parts of the world. The order has a kind of special kinship with Benedict XVI, who took his name as Pope in part because of his admiration of St. Benedict, the founder of the order. The Pope is from Bavaria, and as we say, Bavaria is the land that is Benedetta, blessed and Benedictine. There are many Benedictine monasteries, and Benedictines had a great influence on the Bavarian mentality. So this is where he comes from. Every year, for more than 20 years, he has done a private retreat to a Benedictine monastery in Bavaria. There are approximately 25,000 Benedictine monks and nuns around the world, with a number of them in the United States, Western Europe, India, Vietnam, China, South Korea, and the Philippines. Their main work is education and formation of young people, with over 150,000 students worldwide. Wolf says that the state of Benedictine monasteries around the world is often a reflection of the state of the church in the country where they live. The monasteries reflect the demographic situation in a country and also the situation regarding the faith in a country. If there is really a strong faith or if everything is secularized. In a secularized world, there should not be as many vocations, but there are. Father Wolf says the most important issues for the Benedictine order are the celebration of the liturgy and community life. But when it comes to their work, they heed to the words of St. Benedict, who said only when you can live by the work of your own hands are you truly a monk.